All right, so I'm gonna do a quick video on uh, how I got my channel back. So if you don't care about it, just unclick now. But I know a lot of people get their channels deleted and are wondering what happens. All right, so we'll go through what happened to me. Uh, it was a lot of spamming, sorry. Was... Right, so I got this first email here on the 11th of March, so a long time ago, just saying that, as you may know, our community guidelines describe which content we allow and we don't allow on YouTube. Your video cycling motivation tips, which is like, had like a thousand views, like literally was me commentating about like riding to a park in London, so pretty dead. And basically I got a strike on this and it said, next time you sign in, you need to appeal. So I appealed that. And then the same day, so basically the same time, I also got, so that was at what, 4.40 a.m. and 5.24, I also got this video, Cycling Antigua, the reality, which is just like this, this rubbish vlog of me riding in Antigua when I was on holiday, had like literally less than 100 views, and somehow it was against the, like, it was just ridiculous, and I was like, so confused, had absolutely no idea what was going on, and was pretty sure that someone was trying to get my channel taken down, but in this moment, I couldn't do much, so I thought it might have been my descriptions, because I changed them a lot, so I like changed that back, and like tried to rescue it, but I was like, mm, I don't know what's happening, but I sort of knew my channel was going to go, because I was like, if these two videos have gone, I only need one more strike, and then I woke up the next morning, so you see 2 a.m. or whatever it was, hi, your channel has been, you, your like account has been disabled, so I didn't really know what that meant, so I signed in, and I basically just got told, you can't use YouTube, um, so you're not allowed to do it. So then I sort of Googled it, figured out what was going on, uh, account termination, so I'll link this all below, so it basically just says, your reasons for accounts, so mine, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, they were both for, uh, what was it, Violides are, uh, where was it? It said it was spam, basically. That's what it said. Um, yeah, this is basically it was. It was something to do with my spam. If the main purpose of your content is to drive people off YouTube and onto another site and all this stuff, tags you only post. So this is basically, so on this one, I actually was not allowed to post for two weeks, I think it was. I couldn't upload a video, which is bad, but not that bad. Uh, and then when my channel got deleted, that was game over. So anyway, I read all this. Uh, I looked a lot on the internet trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, and then it's basically you use this form here, which is, so you need to put your full name, the e email you put in, uh, the email address you can contact for me, I, I could use that, and then the URL. So to find the URL, it can be difficult um, to find it because you might not have a link. If you don't have a link, uh, the best way to do it is to pretend to delete your channel. I can show you now. So if you go on um, my account, uh, and then onto like account preferences, Oh, no, it's delete your account or services. This might sound quite dumb because you're like, oh, I'm going to delete my thing, but it's not actually. It's just the best way of finding it um, if you don't know what um, your account is. So if we go on YouTube, um, it is a bit worrying at this point because you're like, please don't delete my account. Um, but, th yeah, so here it is. And then you basically just you can click on this and it will show your channel. Um, so now, obviously, my channel is live, so nothing happens, it just goes to my channel. But if your channel isn't here, it will say it's been suspended or whatever. Uh, or if not, I mean, just try and find a link to one of your videos or whatever. It can be hard, but that's generally the best thing. So anyway, we'll go back to this form. And you're allowed, I think it's a 1,000 characters or something. Um, to Yeah, a 1,000 characters, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, to put your case forward. So it's pretty hard when you think about it to say why your channel shouldn't be deleted. So first of all, most people will just say, figure out why your channel got deleted. So mine, it was spam. Go into the community guidelines um, and basically write um, saying like, it doesn't have any of this nudity, sexual content, harmful or dangerous content, hateful content, violence, all of it. Just say it doesn't have any of this. Um, that's generally the first step. Number two, if you think there's any reason why it might have got deleted, then maybe lay that there. I said maybe it was my tags, but like, please get back to me. Um, and what else did I say? That was about it. I just sort of also claimed I was very worried about my channel and it was help, like it was bad for my mental health and all this stuff. I was just trying to get it up the front of the queue. Uh, so for me, I appealed maybe oh, first and then waited like a couple of days. I kept on appealing. So I appealed maybe like six times altogether. But what I did is on about the 3rd of April, this year, I read an article basically saying, if you apply, 
that like you basically get sent to the back of the queue. So every time you apply, let's say yours is going through the queue, you're moving up the queue, you get to like, let's say five to go before they're going to review you. If you apply, you go to the bottom of the queue. So don't apply every day because nothing will happen. So I appealed on the 3rd of April, finally, that was my last one. So I'd appeal maybe four or five times with a lot of different reasons. So maybe I would recommend appeal maybe two or three times, like within like a day or two days, just to make sure that they have like every information. So say as much as you can, just like, you know, I was just so desperate to try and get it back. And I saw other people had, so I, I was sort of had some confidence that I would get it back. So I, was, I just didn't understand why it had been deleted. And I still don't understand why it's been deleted. Um, and then on like the 3rd of May, or it was like a little after May, well, it would have been just before I got it back, so the 10th of May, I was like, hang on a minute, it's been over a month. And YouTube say that they will always get back to you within a month. So they just didn't. So then I literally, the first line of my appeal was, it's been over a month since I last appealed and you haven't got back to me. And then I just wrote the basically similar thing saying, I haven't done any of like bad things. You know, I haven't gone past the community guidelines, any of the rules. Uh, my channel is just an informed of cycling comment, content. Like I had more up, like, upvotes and disvotes. I was, was gaining lots of popularity. I had subscribers and all this stuff. And then literally the next day they replied. Um, so I appealed that night and then I got this email 1 a.m. in the morning. It was so nice. And I just woke up and was like, hi, after a review of your account, we have confirmed that your YouTube account is not in violation of our terms and service. As such, we have unsuspended your account. This means your account is once again active and operational. And like, that's it. You, you don't know why. You have no idea why your channel got deleted. You have no idea, like, what happened. All you know is that your channel got deleted, probably due to some people not liking it, some people spamming it. I don't even know. But it's been deleted. You then appeal. I didn't get any email saying, like, I've conf got, your, I've got the, um, the appeal. Like, they don't say any information. They just suddenly did this. So my advice to you was definitely be patient. Wait at least a month. Um, after like so do maybe two or three appeals early on just try and add as much information as you can then wait a month just forget about it just start a new channel just you know relax do whatever and then after that month if they still haven't got back to you then just I do that just send an email send an, a, an appeal sorry and just say you haven't got back to me in a month as like the first thing so I literally wrote on like the very first line just here you haven't got back to me within a month and I feel like that really does boost like their chances of replying but I know some people have literally been replied within like a day of their first appeal and other people it's been weeks um but I think finally for me they just saw that appeal I'm like all right we've got to do it um we've got to do it now because it's been over a month but I'm so happy I've got it back YouTube just is a complete nightmare um from now on I really feel like I want to upload to other platforms like DTube and things like that just so that I don't actually lose all my content I was annoyed about my subscribers but the main thing I was actually m more sad about was that, oh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, please don't say it's been deleted. <laughs> uh, I was more annoyed just about that, the fact that I would lose some of my like, really nice videos of like riding with Team Sky and things. And that was what was far more upsetting to me in reality. Um, and also, like, you put a lot of hard work in, into it. Uh, like, some of these videos were so much fun um, like, to do. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. I really hope it helps. If you are in this situation of not having your channel back or just like your channel's been deleted, have faith. It probably will come back as long as you haven't actually done something bad. Um, but there's not much you can do. YouTube does what it wants. And um, just keep on appealing. Uh, again, appeal two to three times to begin with. Wait a month and then see what happens. If they haven't applied after a month, send appeal again and just say you haven't replied after a month. And I really hope that works. It's just a desperate situation for everyone. Um, and no one really knows the truth. Only Google and YouTube know the truth. You can't email them, really, unless you're a bigger channel uh, for the YouTube support, and you can't call them. So the only form, the only way you can contact them is through this stupid little form, which became literally the bane of my life because I just kept on doing it. But anyway, cheers for watching. I really hope this helps, and I'll see you in my, my next video.